They're starting to try to figure out how to graze like mama. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hi guys and welcome back to the homestead. And as you can see, it's feeding time on the homestead. What are you doing, Gibbs? Mini Pearl here is eating her bottle, which they all nurse a little bit from the bottle, but they're all with mom all day. And so they're mostly asking from her. We're just kind of topping them off, making sure that everyone's getting plenty. kind of doing this normally I do it a little later closer to bedtime but we have to tonight so I'm doing it a little early tonight <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get more first time I've had to get more formula <laughs> I've already fed our little calamity Jane this <laughs> is mini pearl she's the she was the smallest <laughs> quit, quit chewing on my leg this is Jethro in the orange collar and then this is Gibbs in the blue collar. I can tell the girls apart really easy. The boys were harder. Yeah, y'all were harder. Y'all were harder to tell apart. Both boys are blue-eyed, and they are gorgeous little guys. They are, and they're cuddly. They're still, they're cut more cuddly than the girls, as you can see, with little Gibbs and Jethro getting mad because he wants some cuddles. Here. Come here, Jethro. He's also ready for his turn at the bottle. Yeah. Violet is doing really good, and she still is nursing them most of the time. Like I said, we're just trying to top everyone off. So I'm going to finish feeding these guys real quick, and then we'll get y'all some baby goat hop video. You'll get your turn. That hurts. <laughs> they are very adventurous and they love to climb. I leave extra buckets in here so they can practice climbing on them like they're trying to do to me right now. <laughs> that's not, that's not, no, you can't nurse on that. you wanted this. You didn't want a bottle today. You just wanted to climb on me. You want some more? Gibbs nugget. Gibbs nugget. Jethro. On Saturday, we're taking all four of these guys to the vet. I'm pretty sure three of them are polled, which means they were born without horn buds and they won't develop horns. Um, I think the only one that actually has would have horns is going to be Calamity Jane. You cannot have the bottle yet. And so we're gonna have her disbudded, just, just like her mama. She just won't have any horns. And it's just easier for me to deal with them they're less likely to get stuck in fences that way. Was that good? Are you full now? And look at this pretty girl. Look at that buckskin coloring. She's a pretty girl. <laughs> Do not have the bottle yet. 
Violet's been stealing drinks of the bottle. Watch this. Begin to wonder if she was a bottle baby. Give me it. Okay, that's enough. I gotta finish the babies first. She goes nuts for the bottle. Hold on, Annie. because when they nurse with mom, a lot of times they bend their front legs and then stick their heads up, kind of like what she does with her hand. And she nurses the best from the bottle when I have her in this position. What? Can you please stop Jethro? Jethro's an attention hog. He wants all the love, don't you? Don't you? We also try to take them outside the barn once a day and let them jump around and let mama graze and that's what she's wanting right now and that's why she's so talkative right now are you done you want to take everyone outside you want to take everyone outside let's go outside <laughs> Eat a rock. Quit <laughs> that. Yeah. 